k. Now, I want to do a little bit more work in her wings, so I'm getting this dark purple. That's as dark as the purple as I have in my watercolor. This was what I was trying to avoid, but the sun. It's been cloudy here all day, but now the sun is shining in my art studio window. I have to have a lot of light, but sometimes that makes it hard on you, my viewers, to see what I'm doing here. Like I said, I'm never in a hurry. Sometimes I paint to sell and sometimes I don't. My little art cards are really popular. That's probably the most popular thing I do. But they are time consuming. You'd think just by looking at it that it doesn't take me that long, but it does. I'm going to try to lightly put a little. design or something in that. The best piece of advice that I can give anybody who watches my videos. I'm not an expert. I'm self-taught. I've told y'all that many times. Um, some might think, gosh, how did you draw that? Gosh, How did you do that? Um, practice. Guys, and I'm not. There, you, I, there, there is never going to be a time where I'm going to feel like that my art is so good that I don't need to improve. It's just not like that. There's always room for improvement. Okay, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to get a little bit of this blue right here, you know, and just practice. I'm going to make, um, even though at the time that I made this video, I don't have it made, but when I post this video, um, when I post this video, guys, if you want to learn to draw like me, then you need to trace my stuff. <laughs> So I'm going to start, you know, these little videos and stuff that I have online, like the real painting, real time painting tutorials like I had right now. Now I'm just using white acrylic, okay? 
just to kind of break it up a little bit. Um, I'm going to start anytime I have little videos like this this is a two and a half by three and a half inch card okay art card I am going to start giving you know y'all free patterns and stuff if you want to do this and kind of follow along with me you can use colored pencils of course I will always do some for free that are small like this and maybe later on you know for bigger ones and stuff or like a full written art lesson I've been thinking about that you know maybe like having art lessons and stuff that will be available for purchase you know but ones like this that I do on YouTube um, little ones like this well that I'll give you a free pattern you know and you could follow along with me if you wanted to okay I think that would be fun because I love sharing I love sharing you know things that I've taught myself over the years or whatever so even though I don't have the pattern right at this second after I do this video when I post it I will have some links where you um, should be able to download it from my website for free okay I'm gonna start having a free stuff category I've just got a little bit of watercolor right there but like I said you know if you wanted to learn how to draw and paint like me like I said, I'm no expert. I just do it because I enjoy it. Um, but I'll, I'll have a... I'm going to start having a free stuff category on my website and I'll put some links below. Now this card will just be It'll just be a black and white pattern of this card. And you can color it with markers or watercolor paper, or just, you know, whatever. But now, of course, you know, you can never take my art and pretend like that it's your own. That would probably make me mad. <laughs> but just as a learning, just as a learning tool for you, if you traced that 10 times, you could probably freehand it. Because I've told y'all in that other video, that's how I learned to paint. Or, I mean, uh, draw. Tracing, tracing, tracing. And it just takes practice, practice, practice. Okay? Well, I think she's okay. Now, sometimes when this starts being a distraction for me I go ahead and cut it out but I want to go back um, I 
That's just watercolor, y'all. Like I said, I am going to, I love glitter. I'm just like a magpie. And sometimes if I feel like it's a little rough looking in places, I'll go back over it with my pen and sharpen it up. I've lost my lines. That's just that's just how I do things. It really would be better if I had that Micron pen. Like I said, I just can't get those here. I just can't run out to the Michaels or the mall or anything like that because we don't have that stuff here. I like to put a few of those little seeds in there. I just like his sharp look and I can't help it. But like I said, the free pattern page and stuff that I'm going to start having on my website Y'all can get you some materials and follow along with me. Or you can just print it off and color it with crayons, markers, colored pencils, or whatever you want to. I don't care. just to practice and you don't have to use if you do it with me you don't have to use low Cornell you can use dang Crayola watercolor paint if that's all you can get a hold of okay real quick before I run out of time because it's getting close I've been on here a long time this is something real pretty this is glitter glue but it's got a that glitter that's in there is really fine and I just put a dab here or there Ooh, I love it and it does take that an incredibly long time to dry but I like it because it dries flat and it doesn't really bubble up Yes, and sometimes I do that with my finger. I want her shirt glittery too. Okay. Oh yes. Now, of course, I'm not gonna let y'all watch me do that because I'm gonna have to go find my scissors. Um. I always put these on auction on eBay. They usually start off at $6 on eBay. Um, so if you care to take a chance on it, just look for it on eBay. I've got links and stuff below. I, I don't put one on there every day. But anyway, okay, I'm running out of time. I might do another touch up or two on this, but I'm going to have to cut my camera off because I'm about out of film. Okay? So I'll post all those links and stuff like I've mentioned um, in, down in the description just so you can just go look for them. And happy painting! Thanks for watching.